First though, the bush burning to our north in the Warren Bungles is the result of what the RFS today described as the perfect storm. Despite the heroic efforts of firefighters, it's proving to be too big to stop. Off the back of a disastrous wind change, the fire has now destroyed 33 homes and 50 plus farm sheds and all but wiped out the Siding Springs Observatory. This is no atomic bomb, but a massive fire which ripped through the Warrumbungle National Park and tore apart the hearts and homes of at least 28 families. I'm sorry to say that uh, some 28 uh, residential properties have been confirmed lost. The Rural Fire Service believes a lightning strike started the fire on Saturday, but horrendous heat and strong winds blew through yesterday, turning this fire into a raging inferno. The wall of fire ran up to six kilometres wide at some points. By six o'clock last night, the fire hit the Siding Springs Observatory. This fire um, yesterday burnt with such ferocity that we have not seen in this state for many years. Somehow, the fire only destroyed one building, an accommodation block, and no one was injured. Staff got the order to evacuate two hours earlier. Evacuation orders were issued. Police enforced those evacuation orders to get people out of those areas. More than 100 residents from Timor Road and Bugledye were also evacuated. Mal Unicum lives on Carrington Lane. He and his wife had to flee as the fire roared towards the family home. I just could not believe the noise, the, the absolute roar um, of the fire was just uh, incredible. Somehow their home survived, but others didn't. Many residents are now holed up at an evacuation centre in Coonabarabran, and with the front just six kilometres from Barradine, residents remain on alert. And whilst conditions have abated somewhat, the fire is still burning uh, quite ferociously. The RFS has now brought in a sky crane to help contain the fire and an arsenal of fire crews and equipment. But warn the firefight is far from over. Shannon Marshall McCormack, Prime 7 News. A website has been established to help bushfire victims. It's emergency.newsouthwales.gov.au. Financial assistance is available to people that meet the requirements and information concerning bushfires can also be found on the Rural Fire Service website rfs.nsw.gov.au.